Okay, this is a video I've been waiting to make for so long because this is the reason why I learned to code. Those of you who have been in my stream before know that I have an achievement system I've put in place where you sit and you rack up your achievement score and going from there, but it's never been where I exactly wanted it to be until now. So in this video, before we get into the new version, I want to show you version one before we show you version two, because I kind of want to go through how this all really developed and pushed me to learn how to code. Okay, so when it comes to version one, none of it was coded. It was all done with the tools that are available in StreamerBot. And I've done videos showing how you can really achieve some amazing things without having to code one line in StreamerBot. It's actually kind of amazing. So in StreamerBot, I actually have, as you can see, two different things that say achievements. So I'm gonna open up the main one first, which this ha alone has 29 actions. And in here is pretty much everything that controls the achievement system. So up here in the triggers, you're going to see that it has where every Twitch and YouTube chat message is going to trigger this. And what it'll do is it's going to grab the Twitch info for the user. And then we also have ways that the YouTube is getting populated. But the first thing I put in, as always, is a way to block my bot and myself from being able to claim any achievements. So if the person chatting is my bot or is me, it's just going to break. It's just going to stop and that's it. Otherwise, it'll just keep going. But then when we get into the meat of this, the first thing that comes up is increment your temp global. So this is basically going to take our chat and count every single message that happens. And this is what I've done previously when it comes to a first, second, third chatter. But this was my way to integrate it into my achievement system to award people for coming, being the first in chat, for being the second in chat, for being the third, to try and encourage people to kind of compete over who can get into my stream first. So here you'll notice that if the message number is one, then it's going to run this action first. And if I go over to first, what it's going to show me is that it's going to add the username. It's going to set the temp global of first chatter. But then what I do is the GDI text, I have one for points and name. So the points is going to be how many points you are awarded for getting the first in chat. And then we increment the score of the user by 50. And then it's going to go ahead and retrieve the score after it's done the incrementing. And it will put together the Twitch message then of, hey, you are the first one in chat and congratulations. Here's your score now. And then it'll do another action at the end. That is the achievement OBS display. So achievement OBS display is essentially all the things that appear on the screen for OBS. So I spent time in Blender because that's what I love to work with when it comes to making visual designs. And I made basically my own knockoff of the Xbox achievement and set it to where it would expand out. It would show the profile picture of who redeemed it show them the name of the achievement that I gave it, and then how many points that received for it. And it would do this entire animation. Now, the reason I set it for an entirely different action is because then all I have to do for each individual trigger is just put this at the very end and it's all good. But that's just the first one. In here, I have a whole giant list of logic that it has to go through in order to tell whether this is an achievement that should be triggered or not. And so after we get our first, second, and third messages done, we then go into regular expression matching for phrases that I set secret achievements to. The problem is, is not always does the regular expression actually match the way we need it to. That became one of the bigger problems I had was trying to get some of these ideas that I really wanted to actually work. And it just never did. Then once we pass all the regular expression matches, we get into just chat counting of individual users. So if the user hits 25 messages that they individually have sent, it would go to message first 25, which is not in this list. In fact, it's actually in this list that has 34 actions in it, in which case that it would go to this one, the message first 25. That would do pretty much the same thing, setting everything up for the OBS display, incrementing the person's score, sending a message to them, and then running the visual display. I 
put together a whole list of different achievements that can be acquired, such as using the motivational point count, which is actually counting how many times somebody redeems motivational poster channel point redemption, or ones for nerdcast battlers, which is my randomly generated cards, or even if somebody uses the command for teabagging subscribers, and even if they are a tier 2 or tier 3 subscriber, they would get a multiplier attached to them. And additionally, I had bits, but there was a little bit of an issue with the bits. For some, they found loopholes that I tried to close and just couldn't make it work. I had somebody who just kept triggering one bit every single chat message, and then, well, uh, <laughs> they wound up being like a thousand points ahead of everybody. So that didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. But there were ways to work around it because, I mean, there's always something you can add in there. So if you, you could add a counter then and say, hey, if they have done this many this stream, just stop. Just, just no more achievements for them. And I did add that in. But all in all, this system worked. Believe it or not, it actually worked. It was stable for a good while, and every now and then when StreamerBot would undergo an update, there would be some adjustments I'd have to make because some things now respond differently than they did with the previous version. So it was limiting in a lot of ways, and it just, I always wanted to make this a real thing that would work the way I always envisioned it would. And the only way I could figure to do that is to do code. And so after a very long time of doing a lot of research, a lot of trial and error, a lot of testing, and even trying to get people to test it for me and realizing that I was nowhere even close, <laughs> I finally got it. And I am happy to show it to you now. So for Achievement System 2.0, to start making an achievement, we would go to the Achievement Maker and we would just trigger it. And what pops up is the Achievement Builder window. Now, of course, I can make this very heavy in setting global here, setting global there and all that. It's just too much for me. I need things that are a little simpler and easier to deal with. So with the Achievement System, I developed probably the best way I could think of to create achievements on the fly. And so this is essentially everything you need to create every single achievement you want. So it all, each one has their own unique ID number. You can give each one a name that is going to be the achievement name that somebody's going to get. On platform, you can choose between whether you want it to be Twitch, YouTube, or both, and even the any will come into play for things other than just Twitch and YouTube stuff, as I've also put in here things for merch purchases, for donations, with everything that's already built in within StreamerBot. But these are all the different categories that exist that you can set up. Chat counts, specific phrases, emotes, and yes, these are, you can either specify a specific emote or just say, my channel's emotes, commands, channel points, subscriptions, I mean, the list goes on, and I made sure that there was something there for really any situation I would need. And then when it would come to something like the condition, this is basically saying, hey, what is it that I limit down within the category to identify? So for the channel points, Nerdcast Battlers, if somebody triggers that channel point, voila, that's going to be the achievement for that. Or how about subscriptions? Hey, if it's a normal subscription, go ahead and do this one. Or limiting the number when it comes to bits. If it's somewhere between 100 and 500 bits, we're going to do this one. We do have where it's exclusive, and this would be if you have an exclusive achievement that only one person gets to earn, you can mark it that way. The start at and the stop at is a way to basically say, hey, don't start counting this achievement until you've hit this many within your counts of. So for here on this one that's 200, this would be the Nerdcast Battlers. Once somebody would hit their 200th redeem of that channel point, then they're moving into a completely new bracket where every 100 times they redeem that, they get another achievement. Stop at is basically saying, once we hit this, no more. It ends there and that's it. Repeatable. This is something that if you wanted to make sure that people can earn it repeatedly over and over again, it will only trigger according to the target that's over here. So for every 100, and it is repeatable, every 100, it will trigger and award the points. 
which those points you award right here. You can sit and put how much they're all worth. The use multiplier is here in case you wanted to add bonuses for certain things. So once they reach a threshold of maybe five redeems of something or have done five subscriptions or something like that, then they move into a new tier where they get then a multiplier over here, which I've labeled factor, that will increase it. So if you have 30 points on the base, but you've already crossed the multiplier threshold, now you get the 30 times 1.5. And finally, this is my favorite, is the double on. So the double on is basically a times two multiplier when a hype train is active on Twitch. Now, if YouTube had that, I would totally make it work for that as well. Honestly, I, until I get monetized on YouTube, I really don't know what I'm doing on YouTube. Sorry, I really don't. But when this hype train is active, whatever I select as, yeah, put that double on when that hype train's on, anybody who's giving bits or subs or really anything I apply, they're getting double the points for. And I figured that's just a good way to say thank you for contributing to the hype train. Thank you for being here, for watching, for supporting, all these things, because the support is one thing that everybody always appreciates. But for me, one of my big things is I really appreciate the fact that people enjoy what I do and that they're there to view and engage and have fun. So any way I can reward my community, I absolutely go for. In here on the achievement system triggers, this is going to already set up all the different triggers that you would ever need for the achievement system. So let's take for the chat check, for instance. This will happen anytime that a chat message is registered, much like version one. But instead, now what this is doing is handling it in a much cleaner, more efficient processing than it was in version one. These will automatically send messages to chat with the achievement they've won and the, how many they earned. And you don't have to really worry. They're just going to trigger like they should. Now, there is a version of this that is available on my shop that is for StreamerBot 0.2.8 and above. That is available on my shop at shop.osuphoenix.tv for my beta tester tier subscribers. Right now, it's only for them because that is the early access to pretty much anything I make. So if it's something you want to download and use yourself, stay with this video. I will show you how to do your own without having to code. But for now, let me show you how mine looks when I run it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what happens with mine because I have set this up with visuals and various other things that are customized to me because, well, mine's going to be different than the one you can download. So I do have a specific command that can be triggered, which is hello there, as if you were coming in as Obi-Wan Kenobi. So when I go ahead and do this, it automatically has added over here the first chatter reward, and then it has also done the General Kenobi. Because, I mean, why not? An achievement named General Kenobi. Why not? I mean, it's fun. And just so you can see the visual, I'm typing in hello there. We should get the first chatter again, which it does appear right there. Ta-da! Now, one of the reasons why it takes so long for mine to work right now is because my <laughs> internet is really slow. But what winds up happening is that in my Discord, it automatically posts my achievements to where I get the picture of the achievement, and it also is going to put a shout out in there for whoever earns this. My little way of kind of encouraging people to go check that person's channel out and to at least give some form of a shout out as well as recording the time and just giving people a place to keep track of. And as you see, it just automatically posted there for the last one I just did. Now, when it comes to adding your own visuals, even if you don't know how to code, you can do a couple different things. And really, it's very simple. So let's say you wanted to add an effect for the chat. If you already have an action built in StreamerBot that you want to have run when this is triggered and you haven't somebody who earned an achievement, then you can select that, drop it in here as a run action, and now anytime you do this, it's going to trigger. 
or you can build something in here. So let's go ahead and say I want my camera to flash on and off. So I'm going to do a set visibility state. And so there's my camera. I'm going to go ahead and do hidden, do a delay. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this so I can flip it to a visible. And I'm going to repeat this a few times just so that way we get a really cool effect. Okay, so now I have this set up to where when it triggers, it'll basically on and off a few times after somebody earns the achievement. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my unset users only, which basically will reset everybody's achievement points, but not the achievements themselves. So the thing I forgot to add into this, which was my bad, is I would need to do a global get and on the non-persisted and the variable name is ACH trig. I'm just going to call it token with a default value of false. That way, if something goes wrong, well, then it'll automatically just not do anything. I'm going to put it here just so that way it will pick up whether it was an achievement that did go through or not. Then I will put in just an if else. And I'm going to say if token equals false and drag this up. So if the token does equal false, I'm going to tell it to break. Basically, just don't don't run anything. So if they didn't achieve anything, we don't have anything. And there we go. So if it's false, just break. Don't do anything. But if they did achieve it, then it should go through. This way, no matter how many times somebody types, it's not going to trigger every single time. <laughs> it works. So that's all you have to do to add a visual effect when it comes to the achievements is you get the achievement, the visual effect goes off. Essentially, what this code does is it first goes cool. This is what I'm supposed to look for. It checks your entire list of achievements and goes, does it exist in here? Is it going to match any of these conditions? No, never mind. Not doing anything. Or it finds one. Hey, there's a match. Do that one. Now, I mean, that's just the achievement system, but oh my God, I couldn't stop there because, you know, people like to see where they wind up stacking against all their friends. So I had to put together a leaderboard. So I have the leaderboard part for it already set to where it will send the message in chat, letting people know who your top five achievement point getters are, as well as a way for them to see where their own score is. And it will also display in chat who's earned points, and it will put it up here on the leaderboard for me to see. Now, granted, I'm the only one who's run things because this is yet to run on my actual stream, but... There's also a way for people to check their own individual score if they're not on the top five. And all they'd have to do is enter exclamation point score and it will tell them in the chat. And for me, I have it pop up right here on my screen. All handy dandy. Now, you would think that would be it. Nope, because this is what I referenced earlier is that because I had originally called my achievements tokens, Everybody thought that they were some sort of redeemable like channel points. Well, that got my community and I to, be, to think about, well, what if we were able to use achievement points to do redeems, rewarding you for just watching? Very similar to channel points, but now kind of giving you a little bit more freedom. Well, that's where I added in the redeemables section. So in here, we have the point redeem maker. So it, what we can do is if we hit test, oh look, another form that's going to pop up and this is going to basically be what I set for people to be able to redeem off of their achievement score. So in here, I can set up whatever I want people to be able to redeem from basically just interacting with the stream. And these are exclusive things that you have to get the achievement points for. I have discounts on my merch store, a discount on memberships. And when somebody redeems, it'll go to a text log for me. So that way, in case I don't have something to give them right away, I can make sure I fulfill that as quick as possible. But this is the thing I have been waiting to actually put out and say, I've done it. I've made it. I have unlocked my own achievement. And the great part is this works for Twitch, it works for YouTube, and I'm hopefully eventually going to expand this out to more popular platforms as soon as I know how to make them work. So I'm going to go ahead and keep building more achievements for my stream before I'm able to get my internet back and I can stream again. So that way, this is locked, loaded, ready to go for my community. With that, my friends, I will see you on another video. 
Enjoy making your own achievements for your own stream.